nervousness on our side of who's going to carry the torch of the culture. And I wanted to tell them guys how proud I am of them for carrying that torch. Um, I know it's only eight games in, but as a fan of the game, as one of the old heads that played, you know, in that camera, understanding this game from a different side, through different lenses, uh, which I will be doing a lot now. So I'm excited. Hopefully I can take some notes and uh, take it back and do some homework. We're excited for the call. We'll let this call continue. This is Robinson. Dragic almost leaned in for it. Olenek, a tough three. Well, he three-point shooting, uh, not on and ready to go. He's going to help the Lakers when he gets back. Green misses the three, rebound to Olenek. By the way, the Heat have made all nine of their free throws tonight. Butler scored in the first quarter. Butler missed on the turnaround. This is Cook. Oh, nice move against Nunn. And Olenek denying Howard in the 2-3 zone. Uh, that's where they're vulnerable, and they continue to, uh, Lakers continue to pound that area. He need to clean that up. He'd get a switch with Cook on Olenek, and Miami recognized the miss for the Heat. Yeah, pushing the Lakers out, too, uh, getting them, getting to the three-point line pretty effectively. Davis short from the middle of the key, and Olenek covers up the rebound. The Heat have a chance to take their second lead of the night. Olenek underneath against D. That has helped the Heat for sure. Here's Hero with a long trip. Butler with a rebound. Olenek, corner triple. And the rebound he's played on in his seven NBA season. Yeah, Lakers 4 of 18 beyond the arc. The zone forcing them to have to look for those outside shots, packing it inside. Olenek, the corner three, he misses it. Olenek, yep. Oh. Olenek driving baseline with Davis and got close, but then was way off. Kelly Olenek 0 for 4 with his shooting. And it just makes it overall so much harder to guard the team. Jimmy Butler has 20 points. Kelly Olenek gets his first field goal of the game at home against the New York Knicks, who get their second win in nine games. And by the way, Philadelphia lost their third game in a row. Denver beat them in Colorado tonight, 100 to 97. So the Sixers are now five and three. And just uh, you know, can't seem to get rhythm there, Eric. Uh, this defense, uh, credit uh, L.A. too. They've been closing down the paint, forcing Miami into some of these shots. Olenek from downtown buries a triple. Kelly I have Bam in there. No one defending the rim. Kelly O, much more of a positional defender. He's not going to give you the shot blocking around the basket. Another rebound for Dwight Howard. Another miss. 40 to go. A steal by Butler. Olenek, right corner three. Oh, that would have been big. James Johnson. And a 52-point game from Golden State's D'Angelo Russell. And the NBA lighting up like a pinball machine. Six-point Lakers lead, just over seven minutes left. He hunting for a win. And a three-second three. violation at that special place his four years with the Heat had in his career. Mike. To this point, it's the only place where he's won back-to-back -back championships. He's got three rings, two with the Heat, one with the Cavaliers. Point Howard was fouled off seven. We told you the Jazz beat the Bucks. The Nets won at Portland. This is the only game still going on an 11-game Friday night in the NBA. Two of the shot clock. Let it fly. In South Florida, we know right now we are broadcasting to the loyalist, truest, most hardcore Heat fans in the world. We appreciate you. Give yourselves a hand and get a good night's sleep when the game is done. But we love the late night crew. That well, it'll be interesting to see how the Lakers evolve and improve as the season goes on. We'll see where they're at when these clubs meet again in mid-December.